Something extraordinary is happening at the farthest edge of the observable universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye into the past, is peering deeper into time than any instrument before it. And what it's seeing doesn't fit the rules. Galaxies that shouldn't exist. Structures forming too early. Light that seems to come from before the Big Bang. At first, astronomers thought it must be an error. A glitch in the data. A trick of light. But the longer Webb stared, the stranger the universe appeared. Now, a Nobel Prize winning physicist has made a breathtaking claim. These discoveries might be evidence of another universe, one that existed before ours. Could it be that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but only the last chapter in an endless cosmic cycle? Let's travel to the edge of time to see what Webb has truly uncovered. It began with a faint glimmer a yellow blotch in one of Webb's first deep-field images. Astronomers dismissed it as a lensing artifact or smudge. But when Webb's spectrograph locked onto it, everything changed. That tiny smear was Jade's GS Z14-0, a galaxy so distant its light began traveling when the universe was just 290 million years old, the cosmic equivalent of a first heartbeat. But what shocked scientists wasn't the distance. It was the brightness. This galaxy was too luminous, too evolved, as if billions of stars had already formed, aged, and died in record time. The discovery, published in Nature Astronomy, forced cosmologists to question the most sacred timeline in modern science, the Big Bang model itself. If galaxies like this existed so soon after creation, something about our understanding of the early universe was profoundly wrong. For decades, the story seemed simple. After the Big Bang, the universe was a swirling soup of hydrogen and helium, hot, dark, and chaotic. Gradually, gravity gathered this gas into knots, birthing the first stars. Those stars carved through cosmic fog, and over millions of years, galaxies assembled and grew. But Webb has shattered that picture. Across its deep fields, it has found hundreds of massive galaxies, bright, structured, and chemically rich, existing only a few hundred million years after time supposedly began. Some even rival the Milky Way. If that's true, our cosmic story didn't start slow. It leapt into complexity almost instantly. At the heart of this mystery lies a daring theory by Sir Roger Penrose, Nobel laureate and one of physics' boldest thinkers. Penrose believes the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, but the end of something else. His model, known as conformal cyclic cosmology, proposes that the universe is part of an eternal sequence. Each cosmos lives, fades, and gives rise to the next. An infinite cycle of death and rebirth. In the far future, Penrose says, our universe will cool and darken. Stars will die, black holes will evaporate, and matter will disappear, leaving behind only light. In that formless, timeless sea of radiation, the boundary between the end of one universe and the birth of another becomes meaningless. From that silence, a new Big Bang ignites, not from nothing, but from everything that came before. Penrose and his colleagues even claim to see subtle hawking points in the cosmic microwave background. Circular patches of energy they believe could be remnants of black holes from a previous universe. Controversial, yes, but profoundly intriguing. Webb doesn't study the microwave sky, but its infrared vision could help test whether early galaxies align with this cyclical model. If so, the universe may not be a one-time event, but a heartbeat in an infinite cosmic rhythm. This idea isn't entirely new. Ancient myths, from Hindu cosmology to Greek philosophy, spoke of eternal creation and destruction. But Penrose's model unites that timeless intuition with modern physics, showing that as the universe expands infinitely, light itself becomes timeless. At that point, the death of one cosmos mirrors the birth of another. Even recent web targets like Sears 93316 reveal how deceptive cosmic observations can be. At first, it appeared to be the most distant galaxy ever, 
born just 240 million years after the Big Bang. But later data showed it was actually closer, disguised by dust and lensing. Even so, the deeper pattern holds. Webb keeps finding galaxies that are too evolved for their supposed age. It's as if the universe skipped chapters, fast-forwarding through its own origin story. NASA scientists remain cautious, reminding us Webb's data is immense and interpretations complex. Some anomalies might be illusions. But the trend is undeniable. The early cosmos looks far more mature than we ever imagined. The mystery deepens when we consider dark energy, the invisible force driving the universe's expansion. What if dark energy isn't random, but the lingering momentum of a previous universe's collapse? Like a cosmic echo passing forward through eternity. In that view, the galaxy's web seas aren't anomalies. Their inheritances, echoes of energy and matter from a cosmos long dead, reborn into ours. If true, the universe is not 13.8 billion years old. It is eternal. A continuous story with no true beginning, only endless renewal. And perhaps that's what Webb is really revealing. Not just the first galaxies, but the fingerprints of eternity itself. The deeper Webb looks, the less the universe behaves like something that began, and the more it feels like something that always was. As we stare into that impossible light, into the glow from before time, we may not be looking back at creation. We may be looking at a memory older than existence itself. The James Webb Telescope was built to uncover our origins. Instead, it might be uncovering our ancestry, evidence that every atom, every photon, every star is part of an infinite cycle of cosmic rebirth. So what do you think? Are we the first spark of existence? or just the latest flicker in a flame that has burned forever?